Coming to you live from the Flagami Studio, Pelican Headquarters in Miami, Florida. Welcome, everybody. The last uh, live stream of April and the, live, the last live stream from, from here for a while. I'm writing, 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 writing in my RV, my RV wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Well, hello everybody and welcome, welcome uh, everybody to the show. Let me, am I using the correct microphone here? You know, I don't even know. It's it's uh, one of those uh, as usual, right? Um, let me see who's here. Uh, traveling Nate Dog, uh, Nash, Clayton Fight, uh, Natalie Driscoll. Lucky Dog Productions moderator, as always, thank you for moderating. And I don't know why this thing is not clicking. There we go. Eric Johnston and uh, Taylor Carmouche, Henry Kosovsky. Hey, Dylan Reynolds. And uh, welcome, everybody. Colin McSherry. Hey, Robert, just arrived in Seattle. Just came back from Space Needle. Space Needle is cool. Um, I, I, really, I, I really enjoyed Seattle. Um, so, Jimmy in DC, did you get the Silverado? Not quite yet. Um, you know, those semiconductors, you know, they have to come from somewhere and apparently they haven't arrived. <laughs> but we'll get one. We'll get one eventually. I really hope so. From Toronto, Mark, the weekend traveler. Hello there. Hey, Rich. Hey, Remy Passion. Sounds good, traveling Robert. Well, yes, this is, and this is, as I was saying, uh, the last uh, live, ooh, focus, focus camera, the last live stream from here in a while. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of notifications here on my phone. Um, I don't know why, but, um, but yeah, we, the, 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 the Lewis and Clark, how do you like my shirt? The Lewis and Clark trip is beginning uh, very soon here. Uh, from Summer Bowling, uh, hi Robert, we are Tom and Summer from Tennessee and are big fans. We watch all your videos and look forward to meeting you one day. Well, thank you. And uh, actually the video that uh, I'm, I was editing today was from Tennessee. Actually, the, 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 the following two videos are going to be in Tennessee. Uh, one of them is the, the, the northern end of the Natchez Trace. I'm cutting my head off here. The, the northern end of the Natchez Trace, and the other one, it's um, Chattanooga. Agreed, the darling Barcelona, thank God it's Friday. RBC photo, happy Friday. Red Fox from Tampa, Florida. Terry Hill, hello there. And uh, they just released some trucks for sale here in Detroit. Well, the, the, the one that I'm getting, and you know, I'm talking to the dealer and his, uh, his uh, uh, viewer of the channel. Um, it's, it was supposed to be in production this week. So hopefully, I'll know on Monday. Uh, I'll have a date. Let's put it that way. So, uh, oh, everybody's here. The bar is officially open. Thank you so much, Sonia. I was waiting just for you. Today, we're going back to a classic, a, a, you know, 90 minutes IPA, Imperial IPA, no less, from Dogfish Head. A brewing company, so, and I'm just gonna do the bottle today because that's how we roll. And cheers to Christopher Olson, who sent me this very nice uh, package. Oops, I hope I didn't uh, reveal Christopher's address in Sweden. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, Great uh, pictures. Uh, Christo, um, Christopher is a great uh, photographer. And uh, look at that. That deserves to be framed. I'm, I'm sorry about that. There you go. Look at that. Look at that picture. Some amazing shots from his uh, area there in, in Sweden. Yeah, that kind of looks like Sweden, right? Oh, with all the snow. Beautiful pictures, man. Thank you. Thank you for sending sending me this. 
and I'll find uh, I'll find a place in my home for them. Look at that! Look at that! Uh, actually, it's probably like this, right? Look at that uh, long exposure uh, picture of those waterfalls. That's great. So thank you, Christopher. And there's a couple of smaller ones here. And and that's all I have actually. Oh, there's another one. No. That's another beautiful shot, cup of coffee with a croissant or or a Danish actually. Is it a Danish or in this case would be a Swedish, right? But in any case. <laughs> Uh, thank you. And uh, I'm talking about the P.O. Box. I'm not going to be able to check the P.O. Box for the next uh, few uh, months. So uh, as much as I like to send, to receive stuff, please don't send stuff because I did I did put a mail hole, but you never know. You know the post office is not uh, working great lately. Hey, Stephen Loy from Savannah. We're going to Savannah. We might hang out with Stephen Loy. <laughs> All right, let me go through the through the uh, through the list here real quick. Of course, we have Mr. C L T in the from New York City in New York. Yeah, man, all you Pelican heads out there, uh, Mr. C L T traveling. Hey, Mr. Casita R V live in the house. Uh, Potter Springs, Georgia, in the house too. Happy Friday, South Carolina, and from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Mobile, Alabama. Can't wait to see this upcoming trip. And the trip keeps getting longer. And uh, let me tell you, we, I was doing some planning today. I would really like to uh, attend the, the Winnebago Grand National Rally in Forest City. So I'm kind of making a few uh, modifications here and there. White Russian, huh? Hmm. Uh, hello everybody, happy Friday, I missed some lives, but always whack the videos, thank you Paulo Delgado, thank you for being here, and this Randall, Randall, what are you doing Tuesday, I have an RV for you to watch, no I'm just kidding, <laughs> for you to watch, I'm just kidding brother, uh, I think I had a super chat here earlier. There you go, Dan Sullivan. Thank you for that super chat. Kansas City here. We're going to Kansas City early early June. So if anybody wants to do a meetup, um, <clears throat> John Daly. Hey, hello, Robert. Nice to see Minitini One get some love. When do we hit the road? Well, I'm hitting the road Sunday. Uh, hey, Robert, what a week. It's been in quite a week, El Mandalorian. It is the way, man. It is the way. What can you do? <laughs> hey, Herbie, Red Jaguar, you're early. You're usually here by the end of the chat. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here so early. This is awesome. So awesome to to, to be able to, to chat with all you guys here. And uh, let me go. Oh, the, the chat is out of control today, isn't it? But let me let me see if I can. Okay, I'm gonna uh, take it from here. Uh, Maxine Oliver, hello there, Maxine Oliver, and uh, Boost Manka from Zephyr Hills, Florida. Cincy RV from Cincinnati, Ohio. We're gonna be in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, by the middle of next month. So look out for that. Uh, Need to tour to Macula RV. Hmm. Joyce and Joy, John from Northern California. Hello, Robert. Could you have a display room for all that wonderful stuff? Yes, I should. Okay, let me go down here. A hey, Plant City, strawberry capital of the world. Plant City, Florida. Huh? And Seth Lemons is here. Seth, if you're going to be in Pelican, um, no, yours is not Pelican, but we're neighbors, Seth and I. If you're gonna be out there on Sunday, uh, let's hang out. And Guni from Deutschland, the German in the house. Hello there. Uh, hey, Filippo, how are you, Filippo? Long time no see. Now you were here a couple of days ago. Filippo from Italy. Nice to have a time to see one of your life. Thank you so much. 
Filippo, and uh, I always remember you. Um, Uh, Michelle Rosa from Long Island, hello there, and um, Michael Briggs from Texas, oh, who's here? Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto, domo, domo, Robert, when do you come to Chicago? I don't know, it's not on the plans for this trip, but maybe next year, we, we might do a, a Route 66, who knows? Watching from Northern Michigan, hey, have a pasty in my name, um, <laughs> I have to go back to Northern Michigan. I really, I really enjoy that. Um, where are you headed? Well, we're doing the Lewis and Clark route. In, it's a rough draft of the Lewis and Clark route. We're, gonna, we're not going to follow it to the T. We're going to make many detours. Uh, new to your channel, well, uh, Beamer, Beamer Tech, welcome. Welcome to, it, it's, it's a good place to be, man. Uh, we have a, lots of good people here. Make sure to join the Facebook group if you're on Facebook. And um, Lexington, Kentucky, hello there. Uh, we're going to pass very close to Lexington, Kentucky. 350 watching, 356, it says now. Drinking a midnight train black IPA from Witch's Hat Brewing Company. Hmm. Cheers. Bill. Just wanted to say hi, first time to your live chats. Well, thank you, welcome. And we have a good time here every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern which is, it might uh, become a, a little more difficult to do as I, I am on the road, but now I have Starlink, so hey, we, you know, we might be able to to, to do them all. Duki Chips from Rochester. Happy Friday, Mr. 305. Happy Friday to you. Watching from Trinidad Coast Springs has sprung. Leaving Utah and Arizona in two weeks. Can't wait. Living for Utah and Arizona. Well, Elizabeth, enjoy two of my favorite states. Redneck, Redneck Gypsy Adventures. I've missed the last few chats. I was doing some traveling. Glad to be back. Well, welcome back. Is this the start of the Lewis and Clark trip? Well, in theory, when I went with mom last month to Washington, D.C., that was kind of the beginning. I did some... But we're going back to D.C., which is interesting, but... Um, I kind of did an introduction to the trip at the Jefferson Memorial there, since it was Jefferson's idea, in a sense, to, to do that, that trip to the West, and he, you know, the Louisiana Purchase and everything. So, uh, Bill forgot to mention Southern California. We're going, we might be going to Southern California. And Natalie Driscoll, uh, hey, brother, how do you come to the Minitini? It was just one of those things. We were going to call it Grey Goose at some point. And then from Grey Goose, came, oh, Grey Goose is a vodka. It's a vodka. What do you make with vodka? Martinis. And uh, we were there at the Peace River Thousand Trails campground, and it looked so tiny, so teeny, next to all these big rigs, because every, everything was a big rig at that campground. And we're like, Martini, Mini, Mini Tini, Mini Tini. Yeah, Mini Tini. And that, that's, you know. We came out. Patricia Walsh, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. A video game controller. You know, I haven't I haven't uh, played a video game in a while, in a long time. I haven't had time, you know. I don't have uh, as much time as I would like to have. Uh, by the way, Big Jim Slade, I can't find you here on the on my. Oh, here we go. Thank you so much for becoming a Chief Pelican Head. Thank you. Really appreciate it. <coughs> this traveler, the die is cast. The die is the cast? Or the die is the... You know, it's... The die is cast. We have, uh, we have a, a, a date, and we're going to go through with it. Actually, the, the whole month of... And this is uncommon for me. Lately, because re lately I usually, you know, let serendipity do its thing and and I don't really plan everything, like micromanage the trip. But since I found it so difficult to find something in Savannah, which we're going to Savannah, uh, I decided to, you know what, let's reserve mo most of this part of the trip. We, we know what we want to do. It's, some of it is even date sensitive, so... We want to be there at a certain date. So pretty much the, the whole month of, of, of uh, May 
is reserved at, a, at some different place here and there. Taylor uh, Carmuch really liked the drone footage of Pelicamp, especially like the view of the Gulf of Mexico from high above this. Yeah, if uh, how many stories is 400 feet? If I had a 400 feet tall building there, that would be my view. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, Seth, I'll see you Sunday because mo Monday morning we are. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Ah, you see what I did there? And uh, before I continue, and I'm sorry, I'm skipping a lot of your messages. Let me thank Patricio Walls for that super sticker. Thank you once again. And uh, Susan Beard, thank you for that super chat. Thank you. We're going to be in Panama City Beach the weekend after Mother's Day. The weekend after Mother's Day, we are somewhere in D.C. with Jim. I'm getting allergies again. I don't know what's wrong with me. But Modest Means, which has that New Mexico flag there, very nice. Happy Friday, and thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Bill, I thought your New Hampshire videos were amazing. Thank you. Uh, Dylan Reynolds, when, when will you return to Miami? And the simple answer is, I don't know. I don't know. I do have to be back in Pelicamp at some point because the, the company that is building the, the you know the building on top of Minitini One at, at some point they're gonna call me and hey we're ready. So maybe I'll maybe I'll, I'll, I'll call Rob and tell him to, to if he could help me out with that. We'll see. Jim in DC, we have reservations being easy to make or have you found places filling up fast? It depends. DC was nice, was easy. Uh, the, the hardest so far has been Savannah, and even on the on the I, I was able to to make reservations during the week weekdays, but the weekend harvest host baby that's that's what we're doing we're doing a harvest host we're gonna boondock same with Louisville <coughs> actually Louisville makes sense it is it is a Memorial Day weekend when we're gonna be in Louisville so now now you know when we're gonna be there but um, Savannah was a surprise. Aloha amigo question question is it difficult to transfer SD card videos to DVD uh, we have a much travel video on SD card don't know how to go about transferring it the problem with DVD you're going to degrade the quality especially if it is a, a newer video D DVD is only 480p if you transfer it to Blu-ray, then you get 1080. You'll, you'll, I don't know if, if Blu-ray supports 4K. But in any case, I used to have this uh, Toast on Mac does it. Does a great job, actually. I don't have it on this Mac anymore because I haven't had to, to, to actually do physical media in a long time. But a lot of newer TVs, they also have USB ports where you can just copy the file to the USB port and you can play it back directly from the USB. That might be a better solution than just burning uh, DVDs. So look into that. Dookie Chips, thank you for that super chat. This will at least get you out of the county. Safe travels. <laughs> ah, no. The 10 bucks, uh, $4 a gallon. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we'll make it to Broward County with that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Bill, thank, thank you. I really appreciate it. And Susan Beard, thank you for that super chat. My grandmother, who lived in Natchez, uh, always told us that the panthers that lived in the trees, but the panthers that lived in the trees. Really? I didn't know there were panthers there. Elizabethtown is a great area just south of Louisville. Yes, I've actually driven through there, Remy. And... Um, Actually, a, I wanted to stay at the, at, the, at the campground that is right across the river on, in Jeffersonville, Indiana, but mm -mm. Uh, eventually we found something at the KOA. So. Watch the founder before you franchise out Pelican. Well, I'm not going to franchise Pelican, but the founder, that sounds like Star Trek Deep Space Nine, like the founders. You know, the, <laughs> who were like... Uh, 
Mr. Christopher Olsen, I can't wait for the new trip. I didn't know anything about Lewis and Clark. I love to learn new stuff. And, I, you know, it's it's one of those things that it's it's almost become like a footnote in history. Uh, and it's not talked about as much as I believe it should be. They, they are, they truly made the first cross-country trip, not road trip. You know, it was more mostly a river trip. But it was the first, they were the first... I mean, I don't know if, 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 if someone from the Lakota Nation did it at some point, but the first Europeans that made the, the descendants of Europeans that made that trip. So I think it's significant. And um, actually, I was disappointed. I went to the, to the American, the Museum of American History in Washington, you know, the, the Smithsonian, and we couldn't find anything about Lewis and Clark. And um, I think it is important, it's significant, uh, because, you know, we, we, we've actually found a route to the West. Uh, William Brody, 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 when, Robert, when will you be in the Jersey area again? Me and my wife will be there. Uh, there's no plans for Jersey until maybe the fall, late fall, we could be in Jersey again. I don't know. I would love to go back for many reasons. But there's there's this area where, you know, for also for... There's this area where a lot of Cubans used to live, uh, and still some do. You know, Union City, uh, West New York, uh, they're in, in Jersey, you know, close to New York City, Bergen Line uh, Avenue, and I would love to visit that area. There, there's even some Cuban restaurants that have gone out of business in Miami that are still in, or were, I mean, maybe, maybe by now, not anymore, but yeah. And... Uh, uh, hi, Robert. I have a smaller camper like yours set up solar panels yesterday. I used two 200 watt. What is yours up to? I have two 180 watt panels on the new one and three 100 watts on the old one. And that's the, 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 the main thing with with a small trailer like that. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't have the real estate up there to put a lot of uh, solar panels. Paracord 101 and uh, congratulations in being a Pelican head for seven months. Thank you so much. Are you going to watch the new Star Trek, Strange New Worlds? And pretty much watched every Star Trek. I don't know, Star Trek Discovery I could never get into. Uh, I might at some point. I tried Star Trek Lower Decks. Um, I, I still have to watch the second season of Star Trek Picard. I started watching it. and uh, But um, yeah, any Star Trek movie I'll watch, you know. Committing to a new series, that's a different story. And um, we actually started rewatching Voyager a couple of days ago because I listened, I'm listened. i listening to a podcast that goes through every single episode of Star Trek. And, you know, it's a, it's a good thing, too. Panthers in trees. And y'all think Australian wildlife is bad. LOL. Natalie, is it true that you can eat kangaroo and it tastes good? I would love to taste it. Uh, Francisco Garces, buenas tardes a todos en este chat. Good afternoon to everybody in this chat. Saludos, mi estimado Robert desde Venezuela, como todos los viernes. Uh, greetings, my, my dear Robert, this uh, from Venezuela, like every Friday. Ask Remy, I have 200 wa 2,000 watts. Yeah, but Remy, you are, you are Remy, man. That's, <laughs> that's a lot of power. And, and by the way, for those of you, Remy is determined to survive in Florida in summer with just solar of grid. I, I need to make a tour of your RV. We are going on the Lincoln Highway. Lincoln Highway is good too. I, I'm going to do the Lincoln Highway once uh, in the future. I remember when Nomadic Fanatic did it like five years ago. So, uh, original mini tini looks great. Thank you, Dookie Chips. And. Um, yeah, I, I, I actually I I'm, I'm can't wait to put a roof on it, and eventually just take it out for on a trip. You know, now that it is everything works in the thing, Every, everything works inside. Uh, the only thing I, I would like to get a battery upgrade at some point, just to to, to bring it up to the twentieth century. So.
BG Keen, the Lewis and Clark is impressive, and I think it's great that you're doing it. You are know more about American history than most uh, native-born citizens. Well, thank you. I still have some gaps, but I, I'm, you know, I'm learning. I, I'd like to, uh, uh, I like to learn things. I'm a little bit of a history buff, and uh, and I'm reading the books about that trip, and it's fascinating. Uh, ask Remy. I'm looking to intersect with Robert at the Ark. Yes, we're gonna do the Ark. And uh, Taj Mahal on wheels. Uh, thank you for that super chat. Five month RV trip starting in June. Savannah, Gatlinburg, Panama City Beach, um, South Padre Island. I want to go there. And Albuquerque Balloon Fest. Oh, you're going to be at an Albuquerque Balloon Fest. We might meet up there. <laughs> uh, can't wait. My wife and I really enjoy your YouTube channel. And, uh, and this trip was originally going to be three months, but I'm thinking. I'm, by the way, has anybody seen my mom? I told her about it. I, I reminded her, I swear. Um, don't tell my mom. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking about making a, a slightly longer trip. I might even put the trailer in storage out west somewhere and fly back. And, you know, because once I'm in Oregon, I don't want to have to, like, rush back here. So I might as well make it a three-month trip. I mean, a six-month trip. And uh, we'll see. Bob Leach, next time you are you go through Nashville, Marrow Bomb Brewery or Ashland City, Tennessee, a Harvest Host member, only 20 minutes outside Nashville, located along the Herpeth. Happy to see me in Tiny One Shine. Thank you. Dylan Reynolds, I really like the old Mini Tiny. I do too, you know. It's kind of tiny and uh, and for long term travel, it might be uncomfortable, especially if the both of us are doing. But I lived, uh, I lived in there for four years, I mean, for three months at a time, you know, I, I lived in there. So, uh, it's definitely doable. My batteries were the Achilles heel of that uh, setup, but... Miles, first found your channel, Robert, from your Scandinavia trip and, and now going to road trip around Norway in almost a month. Well, enjoy. I, I, I'm envious. And I do want to, I mean, had it been for, you know, the pandemic, I would have, I would have been back to Europe already, you know, and I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, the plan is to go next year at some point if, if we, if we can you know, make it happen. You know, I have a lot of plans for next year. Uh, you know, I want to go to Alaska. I want to go to Mexico. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Quartzsite and uh, Arizona. And when I... We'll see. I have to think about this. But I would really love to do it like a, a month in Europe, at least. Um uh, since the RV picking up the new Fusion hauler tomorrow, any suggestions on lithium battery upgrade, Battleborn or Dragon Dragonfly? Ask Remy, because I'm not a lithium battery expert, and what I have in mind is uh, is um, Lithionics, which actually I just did a, a factory tour. But Lithionics, uh, you have to go through a dealership to install them. They, they don't they don't do like uh, direct to consumer, so that's the one thing. Seth Lemon, so many tiny today, and it looks okay. Thank you, Seth. And uh, I do have the cameras there that I, I look at it. That's the only reason I'm paying for that overpriced uh, consolidated communications to, to have internet up there. Let me tell you, it's uh, because you know I want to take a I want to take, a, I wanna take um, Starlink with me on the road. Let's see how it looks. Let's see if we, we can get a live image here. Yeah, that's it. That's live right now. There, it's focused. That's Minitini One live right now at Pelicamp. It's uh, starting to get dark up there. But yeah, we're monitoring. Monitoring all the time. <laughs> Dragonfly is Battleborn. Okay, that's good to know. 
you know, there, there's so many, uh, uh, you know, lithium batteries uh, companies uh, uh, coming out lately. You know, there's Real Iron, Lion, uh, Battleborn. Uh, well, the Battleborn is one, one of the first ones, right? And uh, Rafael Munoz, I'm thinking of to, to live in a tent around the country. You think be good? Hey brother, it, it 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 all depends how how much you're willing to 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 minimize. And as far as being a Christian, I, I don't see the relevancy. But yeah, I was I was I, I I was raised Christian. Yeah, so I am. It's a, a super chat from Duke Chips. Any info on the new truck? No, no info. I know it's being built. I know eventually it's going to happen. I know what it is. I, I even know, I have all the specs, but uh, we don't know. William Brody, 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 thank you for that super chat. Have you fried chicken in many and what sides? Fried chicken? You know, I've never fried chicken myself. I usually buy it fried already because uh, I don't know how to do it. There's so many Chinese lithium battery clones. Yeah, there's uh, actually, if you think about it, probably all the cells are made in China. Is they 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 just uh, there is the, the quality of the assembly and the and the, uh, what's it called the the manage the EMS you know the the energy management system is that what it's called? Is it EMS or or you know the man that that's what's important. All, all that circuitry make sure that that thing doesn't go up in flames. Uh, and that it charges properly and <clears throat> but up with bass sharp hey robert is that orange silverado on your cd artwork your on order truck the color really pops no i think that's just a <laughs> um it's a stock image uh, that uh, our good friend actually it's someone from ukraine who made the the cover for 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 that cd uh, Barb, hey Barb, uh, hopping on real quick to say hello. Jim and I are working on the Mansfield area tonight. Rough start due to pump being gummed up. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Casita RV Life is very happy with this Battleborn, and everybody seems to be. I mean, everybody seems to be happy with Battleborn. So, battery man BMS battery management. Thank you so much, uh, Casita. You know me and uh, which, by the way, someone sent me. I just forgot to show. Someone sent me these stickers. there so many trucks sitting around waiting for chips old parking lots are full here in michigan that b b mine is probably sitting in one of those and this is good beer this is one of my my original favorite ipas and and for real it still is Do you and Illy get excited before each new adventure as you pull away from your home? Yes. Uh, and I am very excited. Well, for almost 500 of you watching. Wow. Um, very excited about this this one. Uh, it's going to be one of those epic trips. And, uh, and I'm determined to enjoy it as much as, uh, as I'm determined. You know, uh, at the beginning, you may see shorter videos because... And this is the thing. I, I think I'm concentrating too much on production, production, production. And I've, I, and I've neglected to, to actually enjoy the journey uh, as much as I used to. So that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this trip. You know, the West is my happy besides, you know, I, I love Florida. I love Georgia. But the West is my happy place. And once I'm out there, you know, it's... Uh, it's such a different world, and the, the beauty of the nature is such that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this to this upcoming trip. Uh, Tim Lawson, thank you for that super chat, new, new, new to your channel, and I really enjoy it. I'm using it to get my wife interested in getting an RV, safe travels, my friend. Well, good luck with that, and thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Is Niam Pony here? I, I see all, the, all you guys. 
George, who still lives in Ukraine, made it. He's a great guy. Yes, and uh, and um, he did. And everybody who works for you, uh, Remy, they, they've, they've done a great job with uh, with with the with the website. Jim on DC, my truck is waiting for salsa. I could play some salsa music if you want. <laughs> Wonder how much the wetlands. I, think, I don't think it's the wetlands, it's the wendlands. <laughs> Pay for a 250. I think he said it. I think he said it in one of the videos, and uh, I think it was too much. I think it was like. I don't know, 80 grand. I don't know how much it was. I know it was a lot of money. He's a great guy, by the way. How do you incorporate physical fitness into your life while traveling? I hike. I, I try to hike uh, as much as possible. William Kowalski. Robert, love the fact that you are looking into Silverado. Uh, well, yes. I think it's, it's a natural upgrade from a Colorado. And I really, I mean, the Colorado, it's, it has, well, you saw the video. It has many negatives, but it has a lot of positives too, so yeah. Really enjoyed the building Pelicam videos. I'm glad you did. Hey, Seth Lemon's going to dinner? Nowhere. Uh, we'll try to keep on, but service is so, so. I know, I know, I know, I know how it is there, Seth. And, uh, what are you having at nowhere? Have some 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 of that 308 shrimp for me because when I get there, I'm not gonna be able to go to uh, nowhere. Uh, and that's by the way, for those of you who don't know, nowhere is like our our local uh, watering hole there uh, <clears throat> near Pelicamp. Red Jaguar, hmm, you're retiring. Good for you. Love your videos, but we need to enjoy. It. You need to enjoy the journey yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm still kind of committed to doing a video every every Sunday, but they might be shorter for a little bit here. Uh, Mary Gates, that's why we love uh, you guys. We can tell how much you enjoy it. Never lose the joy in the journey. Um, thank you. Carlos Bribiseca, uh, hi Robert, since you love the West so much, have you thought about moving here? I noticed you especially love Arizona. Well, not moving there, but I, I do want to have a Pelicamp West at some point, and Arizona seems to be the, the place to do it. Mr. Roboto, do you make campground reservations in advance or just figure it out each day? I have I, I, I've had to do reservations in advance for this trip, especially now early summer. Everybody seems to be out. The weekends have been very difficult to um, to find a camping. So yeah, the, the 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 whole month of May is pretty much reserved. I I have several days that I haven't done anything. I could always do a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel or a Harvest Host. But, um, but yeah, I've been more, um, I've been planning a little more than I used to. Once I get to the West, I'm not as worried because there are so many more possibilities for camping. But as long as I am in the East, East of the Mississippi particularly, I have to be very, uh, I have to plan, plan ahead. What's a good setup, uh, Bob Leach, what's a good setup to use for time-lapse photos such as the ones you and most of your channel. The wetlands, so sad. Sorry, Mike and Jen. What? <laughs> the wetlands. <laughs> I don't know. And what I use, I use, it's a very old camera. I don't have it. I don't have it here, actually. It's a mini teeny. It's an old Nikon. It's an SLR. But it has a time-lapse mode and it has a manual mode, which is very important because if you use automatic mode on a, on a time-lapse, there, there are going to be minor fluctuations 
in the, in the you know the camera each picture is it's doing manual modes but there will minor fluctuations you want to do it a, a, a totally manual mode open the lens wide open at 2.8 2. Point, you know whatever the maximum aperture of the lens is and um, that's the best way the best way to do it and that's how i do it William Kowalski, thank you for that super chat. Are you buying or leasing the Silverado? We pull a 27-foot Airstream, love it. Uh, I'm buying, I'm buying. With the amount of miles I put, I'm going to put on that thing, uh, leasing it wouldn't be a, a good idea. Eric McClintock, is that you singing the theme song? Yes, it is. Oliver DeVries, uh, Robert, do you make sure that to get comfortable seats on the Silver Rider? Well, I spoke to the to the gentleman that owns the the dealership. Uh, and he's he's a viewer and he's he's gonna hook me up. Um, and he told me that to, to get leather seats, that they would be much more comfortable. So I've never had a car with leather seats, so this is gonna be a first. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Robert, your moderators are the best. Ex uh, uh, great job. Yes, they are. Yeah, my moderators, uh, they do, although today it's been, let's say I haven't been paying attention, which sometimes I don't. Today has been uh, pretty much civilized. Uh, but we have 512 of you watching. That's we, we, we haven't had this many in a while. Of course, we did hit 1,000 the day we hit 100,000 subs, but that was a special day, of course. Uh, would love to see you back in New York City area sometime soon. I, I, I love New York, and we're going to go back. Um, maybe maybe late fall. You know, be, before fall, it's gonna, I'm not going to do it. I mean, it's, it's, it's not in the plans, but if I make it by fall to the Northeast, but then again, in September, I want to go to Balloon Fiesta, so we'll see. Have you tried time lapse on the GoPro or not just as good as the camera? I did once. The thing with time lapse on the GoPro, the thing with time, okay, let me rewind. The thing with time lapse with the with my Nikon DSLR is that I have total manual control of things. So I could, you know, I and I what I do, I make a couple of test shots to, to make sure that you know I get like the best. Uh, the best picture possible and i don't know maybe, maybe you can do that with the gopro but i don't think so the gopro kind of decides for you and uh, um this is the thing with gopros they're not good for everything they're great for action cameras they're all right for vlogging but once you want to get really like into manual modes and uh, not great and a couple of days ago, by the way, I ordered a new camera, a new Sony, because my 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 AX53, the, the touch screen on the on the screen stopped working, and I bought the the next one. The you know the AX700 is supposed to be great, and yeah, the video quality is a little better, and uh, and the dynamic range, and uh, depth of field, but the stabilization doesn't hold the candle to to my AX53. So I'm gonna try to fix my AX53. That's the plan. So I returned that um, it was even more expensive than the AX53. So I, I returned it. I, like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep what I have uh, for now. What's the average time to produce one of your travel videos? Well, let me, sh for example, and uh, this is record time because I can't. And it, it it shows on the on the video when you watch it, but it's good. Uh, it's gonna be good. Uh, Chattanooga, which uh, is the one that I just finished. I'm gonna process it tonight and upload it overnight, most likely, or tomorrow morning. Uh, it took me two and a half days, and it's roughly forty minutes. And that's that's a quick. Uh, you know, I didn't do any any of the uh, funny little maps. I didn't compose any new music for it, so that's one. That that will be a, a, a quick turnaround for for a video. Robert is the fastest RVer in history. Robert, where are you? Michigan. Next day, Indiana. Now in Pennsylvania. Lol. 
Well, I'm, 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 I, I shall endeavor to, to slow down on this trip. The only thing I just thought about, I have to be back in Pelicamp for, for when they build that structure. But, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll tell one of my neighbors to, to supervise so I can stay out there. <clears throat> J-Lo, amigo, can you show us how to make pasteles in your cooking show? I, I don't really do uh, pasteles as much. Actually, I don't know how to make them. So <laughs> you should add the country map and stay stickers to your store. Well, that's in Amazon. And if you buy it on Amazon, follow my link. I'll, I, I do get a commission. Patricia Turing, Robert got a haircut. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. Okay, where? Why do you like to travel? I just like traveling. I like I like learning about new places, and uh, believe me, once you get the the travel bug, it's. Uh, I, I I wish I do I do wish everybody had the possibility to travel a lot. Good evening, Robert. I enjoy your videos and chats very much. Thank you so much. Do you have coffee cups in your store? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, Dylan, have you been in the Tampa area beyond the RV Super Show? Yes, I have. I've been to Tampa and the, the Ybor City area, which is the, the old uh, area of Tampa there. The oldest restaurant in Florida is there. And I've been to St. Petersburg. It's been a while, you know. And uh, well, actually, a couple of days ago, we went to Tarpon Springs. I even bought one of those sponges that they sell there. And uh, we had a great time. We had a great time in Tarpon Springs. It was just one day, but... I, I went down, we went down from Pelicamp, I, I, I toured the Lithionics factory, which is in Clearwater, and uh, we did spend some time in Tarpon Springs. How long is the drive from your pro property in Miami to your property at Pelicamp? It's 425 miles, according to the GPS, it's like six and a half hours, but, you know, you have to, you have to put gas, you have to eat, and you have to pee, so it takes about eight hours. That's the, the the quickest I've done that trip. Oh, we have a new patron. Well, Raymond Schultz, if you are watching, thank you so much for, for becoming a patron. The art and illuminations of Larry Whitler. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you. Hi, Robert. Love your videos, your music, and your authenticity. Here's a little thank you tip. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a little over a gallon of gas, and I could use as much of those, as many of those as possible. Thank you so much. Mm. Red Jaguar 100 Travels. Traveling Robert, you should, you, you should start another channel. And call it RV Cooking with Robert and Illy. I should. Actually, I do have another channel. It's called the uh, Robert's RV Cooking Show. I just never posted anything to it. But it's out there. You, if you want to find it, it's there. So, um, yeah, maybe maybe if I, if I have the time, I, I should like make the, the cooking show segments, cut them out and shorter and put them on that other channel. So maybe I'll do that. Huang, thank you for that soup. Super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you do, Mr. Robert. No, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a great Friday. Sherry Glasscock. Celebrating four months of being a chief pelican head. Thank you so much. Traveling Robert made me want to travel over the United States. 2020 shutdown had me wanting to go elsewhere and travel by narrow bands, England. In England, well, thank you, thank you for being here, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that you know I, <clears throat> I instilled in you that that you know wish for travel. You know, I, uh, um, <clears throat> once you get the bug, <clears throat> there's no way to a uh, Barry eighty one Jones. Let me see if I can get my falsetto on. Thank you for that super chat. Look at that, I still got it. <laughs> thank you, Barry and uh, Nafim Udin. 
Hello, Robert. Your videography is amazing. Me and my family loves your videos very much. Take love from the people of Bangladesh. One of these days, man. One of these days. Bangladesh. How's Illy doing? She's doing great. She's excited to be traveling this Sunday. Vagando everywhere, por todos lados. For variations on picadillo, mejor no. Oh, I just... Uh, when was it? Like three days ago. Uh, like this week, sometime... Oh, what happened? My quality just went down by a lot. Uh, I, came, I, I did the best picadillo I've done in a while. Let me do something here real quick because something happened to the camera. This camera is... Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh no, technical difficulties. Give me a sec here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, there we go. Now, now we are back in HD. <laughs> and I totally lost my train of thought here as you were. Uh... Elizabeth, Rob. Rublier, Rublier, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you, and uh, he's a <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> and uh, Rob Hewitt, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, uh, you guys. You know, it's uh, it's just a privilege. It's such a privilege to be able to do what I do, and uh, you know, to share share my experiences with, with you all it's uh worldwide following robert yes it's uh you know the internet is an amazing thing in that sense uh, you know we get we get you know especially a lot of people from brazil from south america and then the, the europe england of course and uh and all over the place philippines the philippines you know we have remin passion here where it's morning out there and he's still here Robert, you're going to have the Silverado with a back trunk cover? Yes. I, th I do need to order a tonneau cover for the Silverado when it comes in. My comment brought the feed. But, but I, I think it's the camera. You know, I, I hit something. And uh, I have, like, uh, all this stuff is connected to a USB hub back there. And I have three hard drives connected to the USB hub that I cannot disconnect. Because as soon as the live stream ends, uh, I'm going to process three videos. They have to go out. It's a, it's a lot quicker to process them here. And uh, I, I would tell you that, like, the logistics. There's a video going out this Sunday that has a commercial, and that commercial hasn't even been uh, uh, approved yet. So I'm uploading two versions, one with the commercial and one without. And if you see a version without the commercial this Sunday, that means that the commercial didn't get approved. And then I'm uploading the, the following Sunday, too, because... Since I'm on the road, I want to be at least a week ahead. So it was fine. Then you broke. It was fine. Then you broke it. Hey, there you go. You were talking about visiting San Diego. Um, maybe, maybe Jim in DC. I haven't seen your mom on the chat today. Hope she's doing well. She sent some nice photos the other day. Yeah, I, actually, I was at her place, and she she asked me, "How can I? Do you have Jim's uh, email address? How can I send him uh, some pictures and send him a message?" So. So I helped her out with that. But I did send her a text and it went through. So maybe she's watching the novella. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe she didn't see it. Uh, Gary Soldan, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Eric Johnston, have you been following the NFL draft at all? You know, I don't, I don't really follow sports as, as much. I never did. But even when I did, I, I didn't really follow them much. Uh, Ramin Passion, hey, yes, Robert, you say morning culture here to watch you live chat every Friday. Well, thank you, Ramin. I appreciate it. It's actually, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling, you know. I know the earth, you know, uh, 
uh, it, that it is morning somewhere else, and you only you only realize that when you actually travel. And I I have never traveled to a place as far away from home where it will be like the totally opposite time of the day. And at some point, I do want to travel to Asia, uh, maybe the Philippines, maybe Japan. I would love to go to Australia and New Zealand, as you all know, and experience that. You know, like if it is morning here, it's it's the you know is the other the other is the other side of the globe, right? The farthest I've been from my home time zone is Finland, and that's like it's six hours, seven hours. Jason419, thank you for that super sticker. And it says, uh, good job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Brandon Stargell, uh, I really enjoyed following along for nearly four years. Here's to summer 2022 being the best one yet. Thank you, Brandon. And uh, yeah, we, we've met in person a couple of times and... Uh, and I really hope so. I really hope so. And I really hope to meet you uh, again when we get back to Georgia or maybe somewhere else. So, yeah. If you if we should see you in public, would you rather us not scream, it's traveling Robert? Or better if you just uh, walk up, call me and say, uh, do whatever you want. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> I've, um, I've, I've... I've seen all kinds of reactions. So it's it's all good. And uh, I, I really enjoy uh, meeting, meeting all of you. Eric Johnston, thank you for that super chat. Love the videos. Could use some positive vibes tonight. My Timberwolves are playing game six tonight and need to secure a W. Wish us good luck, huh? Good luck. Good luck, Eric. And, uh, yeah. You're going to be fine. You're going to win. We love your videos no matter the length of them. Thank you so much. What state you'd never been? Now I watch your show all the time, and I'm very, uh, very enjoying your travel. But I've never been to Hawaii yet. I've been to every other state, at least wa walking through it or driving through it. I mean, Delaware, I haven't really done much. Connecticut, I eh, haven't really done much. Um, and there's a couple more that I'm like, yeah, I, I've been there, done that, but I have to go back and really be there and do that, right? Um, <clears throat> so I do, uh, Hawaii is the only one that I've, out, out of the 50 states in the Union that I've never s set foot on. Out of the territories, I've been to Puerto Rico. I do want to visit the Virgin Islands and Guam someday. So, Mr. Roboto, I spent three weeks in Japan when in the reserves, the time chain and cultural shock was disorienting. And that's one thing about Japan that I've read. I mean, I'm talking about not from experience, but from what I read. It's a country that remained isolated from the rest of the world for so many years that their culture is very different from from everybody else. You know, like everybody's a little bit westernized in that sense. But before World War I, I mean World War II, the, it, it was a very isolated co co country. So, so they have uh, a lot of those, uh, you know, idiosyncrasies that nobody else does. Rob Hewitt, thank you so much for becoming a chief pelican head. So I, I would love to visit Japan. I would love to visit Japan. Need to do coastal North Carolina. Yes, I've been to, to Wilmington, North Carolina ever so briefly. And I've been to, to the Outer Banks. But yeah, I need to do the coastal part. Brazil, of course, I would love to visit Brazil. Uh, it's one of those uh, fascinating countries that I would love to visit. 
my parents were there in their, not in their, they, they had like an extended honeymoon. On their second honeymoon, they, they were in Brazil and they loved it. So, uh, where's your mom? Good question, Robert. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remind her again. I hope she's okay. For all we know, she's with her neighbor. You know, it's... What's a chief pelican head? Chief pelican head is what I call the members of the channel. You know, you, you click on the join button and uh, you give me five bucks a month and you become a chief pelican head. Um, you know, and uh, otherwise you're a regular pelican head. Although, think about, to think about it, I am the chief pelican. Never mind. You, you know what I mean. That, that's just a, um, a traveling rubber. Hopefully, we will run into each other this spring, summer. But my brother and I will be in Homestead for the NASCAR race in October. Race in October. Maybe, maybe we'll meet in Homestead uh, of all places. You know, we've we've met in North Georgia twice already. So. Uh, why not? Homestead. Carlos Cabrera. Hi, Robert. Here's Carlos from Chile. Chile. There you go. What is your opinion after all these years from the Weber Q1200 grill? Would you buy it again or would you buy another? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. This is my third uh, Weber grill. The first one, you know, I, I really mistreated it. And what happens when it's sitting in the back of the truck and you go through dirt roads and all this, you know, I, it kind of, um, I destroyed it, basically. The second one, I had a fire accident and I melted the, the plastic. It, it's a long story. So I, I but to, to make a long story short, I like it and I would buy it again. Yes. Um, I haven't had any other. But I, it, it does the job. It, 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 it I mean, it, the, it uh, disperses the heat evenly, and it's a good grill. I, I mean, I'm also, I'm in one plus. I'm your patron. Yes, well, patrons. It, it's, it's, uh, it's the, the only thing with with the difference with patrons and uh, members. Members, I can and see here in green. And with a little pelican next to them, so it's it's easier to differentiate here. But it's the same. Pay patrons get other perks. You know, it's it's. Uh... Rafael Munoz, what? And thank you for the super chat. What do you recommend? I fear of flying. You should go on a flight with my friend Jason. <laughs> um. I mean, I don't understand exactly. If you wanna, if you wanna go to a place like overseas, and if time is not a problem, you can you can catch a transatlantic a, a cruise. You know, they do those repositioning cruises a, a couple of times a year, and that's something that I would love to do actually. Yes, like like back in the day, you know, take a take a a, a boat to Europe. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, Johnny Gomez, hello Robert. Would you ever make it to Lake Tahoe? I've been to Lake Tahoe. I was there in the summer 2019 trip, but I didn't do much. You know, I just drove around the lake pretty much, and that was it. Heli uh, Salcedo, que vola sere, Jim in DC. You grilled the second grill. Well done. Yes, I did. And uh, it's one of those things that I don't know how it happened, but it did. <laughs> it was highly unlikely. Likely. <clears throat> Gina Hernandez from Traveling Buddies. Hello from California. Well, hello, Gina. And um, Juliet Freeman, 400 feet is 37 to 45 stories. Okay, 400 feet, 37 to 45 stories. Just in case you really wanted to know. Okay, so that that's that's how how tall a building I would need to build in Pelicamp to to get that ocean view or golf view to be more specific. Uh, 
All right, everybody, I'm, I'm going to start wrapping this up. It's been an hour. I was going to make it longer today, but uh, it's, it, it depends uh, what you guys want. Uh, Robert, please explore coastal Virginia. You passed by, oh, man, I have to take off my glasses for this one. Kip, Kip to peak. State Park, before you drove to Chesapeake Bay, Bridge, Tunnel, Try First Landing State Park. Yeah, and that was kind of rushed, in a sense. I just wanted to see what the coast looked like, what the Outer Banks looked like. For a future trip, just, you know, diving more in depth. Uh, Juan Gailo, Acadia National Park in Maine. It's a beautiful park. I've been there. It, it wasn't the best trip, the best circumstances. And to be honest, I was kind of disappointed at the time but I'll be back and uh, you know to be able to enjoy a bunch of things happened of course Kia died uh, I, I go up to Cadillac Mountain and it, there's no sunset sunrise there's no sunrise and uh, but I'll be back it, it wasn't a good trip uh, due to circumstantial things so uh, Good night from us in Wales, UK. I just, it's past midnight here. Well, one of these days, we'll visit Wales. Who do I know who moved to Wales? Or oh, Ili, Ili follows a YouTuber that moved to Wales. That's what it is. Uh, visit former US bases in the Philippines, like Camp John, Hay, and... Um, yeah, one of these days, I'll visit the, the Philippines for sure. I enjoy watching your vids. I'm in my 40s. Can't wait to have an RV. I grew up going to Sunshine Key. It's so expensive now. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, Errol Woolet from Pelican Lake. I have to put the, the Pelican Lake, Lake uh, uh, picture back there at some point. Hi, all. We joined late. Happy Friday, Errol and Kathy. Happy Friday to you. And uh, I'll visit you next year for sure. You should build a brick grill. Well, yeah, like a brick oven kind of thing. Duke Chips, thank you for the super chat. Will Illy Guest narrate on this trip? we got to work on that. <laughs> so if you knew what you know now, what setup would you choose? At this stage, and it's not about knowing, it's a... Uh, at the time, it was a matter of having, you know. I will get a camper van. Just because of the way that I want to travel right now. Which is fine with a travel trailer. But sometimes I want to do a little more of the minimalistic, you know, like going somewhere else every day kind of thing. But other than that... I think a good truck and a good trailer might be the way to go for for, for what I th I'm not I'm not the the clad the 45 foot diesel pusher person at least not at this point in my life. I don't like fifth wheels. I'm not a fifth wheel person. I don't want I don't ever want to tow anything that big, even though it's super comfortable inside. So uh, I think either for me right now, truck with small travel trailer. And if money was no object, a uh, camper van, like a, like a Winnebago Travado or a panoramic RV or even a leisure travel van, you know, I mean, that, that setup. What about van life? Yeah, you, you read my mind, but not, not van life like, like, like self-build, you poop in a bucket. No, I want to have a bathroom. I want to have a shower, even if, if it is a wet bath. You know what I mean, right? Um, certain comforts, but I want to have be nimble enough to be able to park it anywhere. And that's one of the one of the things that I miss about, or that I regret about having a, a trailer. Ah, regret is not the right word. But that bothers me sometimes about having a, a trailer is that sometimes I want to park in that place just to spend two hours there and, and see what it has to offer. There's no parking for me. And I miss that place. Or I have to go to a campground, drop the trailer, and come back to the place. And I miss two days in the process. 
What's a good camper for one person? One bag of micro mini 1708 FP. <laughs> That's, that's, that's Mini Tini 2, very similar to Mini Tini 1. It's good for one person. You can have him something even smaller. You can get a Casita. Casita would be great for one person. And they, they even have like that 12 feet, 12 foot model, I think, that it's like super small. So, um, yeah. Under 25 feet long and has a dry bath. Yeah, I'm looking more like in the 22 feet long. Uh, excellent. If I could get something seven and uh, nineteen feet long, so it could go on the going to the sun road, uh, hmm. yeah. Bob Lee, your channel gave us the idea to RV, and you have been an inspiration. So I have grown a mustache and a goatee in your honor. Oh, you need to change your profile picture, man. <laughs> I have to say, it's good look for me. Thank you for everything you do. And I thought about shaving it. <laughs> Uh, Lucky Dog Productions, I know you used to have a Class B, a road trek, and loved it. Really great for one or two people. And, um, and I mean, don't tell anybody, but that's, that. eventually that's the goal. I would love to. Maybe I get one and I'll hate it. But I don't think I am. Because in Finland, I had a 25-foot Class C, no slides. And we really loved it. So I think... If uh, I think uh, uh, if we could find like the smallest class C trailer, you know, because camper van is kind of cramped. The class C, it can be a little wider. You can have a dry bath, something like that. But small enough that it would fit, still feel like it's it fitting in the camp in a parking spot. Like the BT Cruiser. BT Cruiser is a great example. Um, or the old Winnebago Trend. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what the, you know, we're, we're kind of speculating here mentally in the future. But uh, I would love to eventually have something like that. Actually, yeah. And um, I have your writing in my RV song as my alarm in the morning. Well, wake up, uh, writing in my RV. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for a camper van, and it's either trash or 300000 Yeah, I know. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy right now. Uh, good evening, Bob and Pam from the Wachula Thousand Trails. I have to... That was our not our maiden voyage, but our first trip was to that campground right there. Be careful. It floods. <clears throat> We watched your Montana video before we did the Sun Road at Glacier Summer 2021. I wasn't as scared of the Grizzlies after watching you hike and not get eaten. No, I survived. Believe it or not. I think you'll be happy with the Little Trail Line or the Winnebago view under 25 feet long. The one thing, if they made a view without a slide, that would be perfect. That's the one thing I don't like about the view. That slide. When you put that slide in, it's kind of cramped. So, your review of the Norway trip too. Thanks for all you do. Gabby from Ontario, Canada. Thank you, Leslie Chandler. And uh, yeah, it seems like a lifetime ago that we went to Norway. We have to go back. We have to go back to Europe and hopefully the Nordic countries. Uh, hopefully next year. So... I'm going to start wrapping this up. We've been doing this for an hour and 15 minutes almost. So thank you so much, everybody, for showing up, for being here. Let me grab my guitar and uh, we'll do the... Actually. <clears throat> and I'm kind of losing my voice here, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cosa más linda, más... Anyway. <laughs> since we're going, since I'm wearing my Lewis and Clark shirt, we gotta do. Can I do it? <clears throat> driving to the west, into the sunset. Driving to the west, driving to the west, into the sunset. Driving to the west. <clears throat> Man, I have.
have to warm up my voice for this one. I, I was going to do a mini tilly lounge tomorrow, but I'm not going to do it tomorrow. It's going to be a preparation day for the trip. So, uh, on to the next one. I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV, yeah, I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be, yeah, because I'm free. In my RV, yeah, riding, riding, riding. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Have a great week and have a happy Friday. And I'll see you next Friday. If all goes well, from Savannah, Georgia. See you on the road. Bye. Have a great weekend.